Welcome to another video. If you ever have to integrate secant cubed of x, I would recommend that you do not do the work there. Just have it memorized. Okay, just have it memorized and just write out your answer. Unless the actual task is to integrate secant cubed of x. The reason is that you're going to be spending quite a lot of time integrating two different functions. So I would recommend, it doesn't take forever, but unless this is the main task, I would rather you just write the answer. Okay, so I talked about this in my previous video, that there are three things you need to, not three things, there are two formulas you have to have memorized. The derivative, the integral of secant x and also of secant cubed x. You already know secant squared x when integrated is just 10x. Antiderivative of secant squared x is 10x. So that one you already know from calculus 1. But we are not familiar with this. Now one of the strategies of integration is integration by parts. And that's what we're going to use here. However, there's something else we also need, which is the other thing I told you to have memorized, which is the integral of secant x. And that's where I'm going to start because we're going to use it when we get there. Okay, let's get into the video. So using integration by parts, you're going to treat the integrand as the product of two functions. Okay, one of them you're going to assume is the derivative of another function. And one of them, you don't, it's not the derivative of anything, but you can easily differentiate it, but one you can easily integrate. So if we're going to break secant cubed into two, well, definitely because it's odd, there are only two options. You keep square ones and you have secant ones. So we can say that this is the same thing as the integral of secant squared x multiplied by secant x dx. So it is the product. One of them is easy to integrate. Which one? The secant squared. Because if we integrate secant squared dx, we're going to get 10x and we're done. But the secant x is actually the problem because we don't know how to integrate it. We have to do our integration by parts. So we write integration by parts. And we say, we're going to make u, u is always the one you want to differentiate because you cannot integrate it. We cannot integrate this because we don't know how yet. So we're going to make it our u. And we know that when you differentiate du, you're going to get secant x, 10x dx. And the one you know how to integrate, you're going to call it dv equals secant squared x. And that means v is going to be, let's just call it secant x, d, secant squared x dx. Oh, I should have moved it. Okay, maybe I should write it this way. Better. Okay, so secant squared x dx. And so that our v is going to be what? 10x. Okay, so I switched places. We're going to have the formula here. It is u multiplied by dv equals uv minus vd. You can actually use the di table, which is fast, but I want to show this this time. Here, so u dv is going to be what we have here, our secant cubed x dx. And here we're going to have um, u times v is this times this, secant x 10x. Secant x 10x minus the integral of v times du, v times du. Look, if you multiply this by this, you're going to end up with secant x tan squared x. So it is secant x tan squared x dx. So this we don't need to bother ourselves with. But you see the secant x tan squared x, is there a way again we can integrate that? Is there any trig substitution we can use? It doesn't appear to be anywhere. If the square was on this one, then nice, but it's not. So 
We may have to rewrite this one as secant squared minus one, that trig identity, you have to remember that. So let's work on that one here. So we know that secant x tan squared x can be written as secant x times secant squared x minus one. And if you distribute this, you end up with secant cubed x minus secant x. So instead of writing this, we can actually go here and say minus the integral of secant cubed x dx, but this will become a plus. This minus is gonna change this to a plus and we have the integral of secant x. So if you observe, this line is now secant x tan x, and this is the integral of secant cubed x dx. So you have secant cubed x dx here. You also have secant cubed x dx here. Okay, take this guy, go add it to this, or just add secant integral of secant cubed x dx to both sides. You will notice that you now have two of them here. So we have two secant cubed x dx will now be equal to secant x tan x, and what you have here will be plus the integral of secant x dx. So we're almost done. The only thing remaining is we need to be able to integrate secant x. Now, that's where I said it is better if you have this also memorized, because now you have to go through the process of integrating this. It's just some basic u substitution and some manipulation. Okay, let's do that here, and then we're going to write the answer there depending on how you want your answer to appear. The strategy you take in integrating secant x will have to go along with what you want to achieve. So you may express this in terms of natural log of secant x plus tan x, or you may express it in another way. You might say, no, it's going to be natural log of 1 plus sine x over 1 minus sine x or you may find another way in terms of tangent. But because I want you to stay within the picture I'm painting of what I want you to memorize, if you were my student, I would use a strategy that you can easily recall. Let me ask you this. What is the derivative of secant? It is secant tan, right? So just try to remember this, that if you want to integrate secant x dx, it is the same thing as you're going to multiply this by secant x plus tan x. So you write it as this, secant x multiplied by secant x plus tan x. And then divide it also by secant x plus tan x. Now, this will help you recall what the answer is, because this actually is the solution, just inside the natural log with absolute value signs. Okay, so this is what I want you to do. Do this multiplication. By the time you distribute this, you're going to end up with secant squared x plus secant tan, which is the derivative of the denominator. And that way, this is all that's going to be your u. Okay, look at this. Say, let u be equal to secant x plus tan x. du is going to be, what's the derivative? Come on, it's secant I wrote. Secant x. I hope you didn't see that. Okay, secant x. <laughs> The derivative of secant x is secant x tan x. So it's going to be secant x tan x. Plus, what's the derivative of tan x? It's secant squared x. But that's exactly what's on top here. It is secant tan, secant tan and secant squared. So you can actually rewrite all of this expression as 
du over u if this is your u. And if you integrate this, it is basically the natural log of u. But what did we say u is? This. So I can go here and say this is equal to the natural log of secant x plus 10x in absolute value bars plus c. For those of you who like the c, and this is going to be equal to secant x, 10x. So since what we're looking for is secant cubed, we don't need this two. We have to divide everything by two, and that's where the one half shows up. So we know that the integral of secant cubed x dx is equal to one half of secant x 10x plus one half of the natural log of secant x plus 10x plus c. That's a long one. Beautiful. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning, stop living. Bye-bye.